Hi, my name is Kerry Troy. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Civil Engineering at Purdue University. Um, we are here to get you acquainted with our autonomous underwater vehicle, which is a YSI EcoMapper, a water quality sensing autonomous underwater vehicle designed to do water quality surveys in inland and coastal waters. Internally, the vehicle has a standard Windows computer that controls the vehicle's motion and navigation. Um, it also logs the water quality sensor data. The vehicle is powered by a set of lithium ion batteries that allow the vehicle to perform water quality surveys for up to 8 to 10 hours. And on top of the vehicle is a high grade GPS antenna that the vehicle uses to navigate while on the surface. Right on the bottom of the vehicle, that small yellow pinger is actually an emergency acoustic pinger that allows the vehicle to transmit an SOS signal if it gets lost and we need to find it underwater. The vehicle propels itself using a propeller and steering is accomplished using four fins at the back of the vehicle. When the vehicle is underwater, it's able to navigate using sound waves that it scatters off the lake bottom and it will move its fins to steer along the pre-programmed path. The nose of the vehicle has the standard water quality sensors that the vehicle uses to map out the water quality distributions. These sensors include pH, temperature, conductivity, chlorophyll, turbidity, and also blue-green algae. These sensors, when the vehicle is underway, are taking data at one sample every second, and the data is logged internally on the vehicle's computer. The black capsule between the body and the nose contains a pressure sensor that measures the depth of the vehicle. It also has an altimeter that measures the height of the vehicle off the bottom and several acoustic sensors that send out sound waves to measure the velocity of the water below the vehicle. That's pretty important because those sound beams are what allow us to map out the currents in the lake. Now that we're familiar with the vehicle, it's time to program our mission. We do this using vector map software in which a high resolution aerial photograph is downloaded and we simply draw the map of the mission on top of that image. For each leg of the mission, we specify the vehicle speed, the depth, and the location where we want the AUV to travel. Now all that we have to do is get the vehicle in the lake. So first we have to check to make sure that it will actually float, which is important. Um, so we push it down in the water a little bit. Make sure it pops up. Looks pretty good. You got to make sure the antenna is sticking out of the water so that you can get a GPS signal. So the first thing it's going to do is just stay out there for about five minutes and just hang out in one spot. We hope you've enjoyed the tour of our autonomous underwater vehicle and we hope to see you in June at our Dune Dynamics workshop. If you see your floating in Lake Michigan, give us a call. <laughs>